Uh, I, I would say this is the most intimate song on the album. Um, really, it was from that kind of hard time in 2010 where I felt lost and, and sort of like I lost my vision for a second. Um, and it's cool because the song is sort of <laughs> almost an apology uh, to the fans, <laughs> like for being gone. It's like it's like here's how it went. Like I needed to run away, but I miss this. Like and it's hard and it's painful sometimes, and it's this big giant massive thing. But it's me and it's my heart and it's our relationship. And um, yeah, I want it back. Sick. Okay. Uh, this is a song that was one of the first one we came up with when we had like a fan jam session uh, about a year ago. And uh, I don't know, I, we were really excited about it right away. Sometimes you get in a room with a group of people and try to write a song together and it just doesn't work. <laughs> you know, um, the more brains you get going, sometimes the more disjointed it becomes and the more directions start getting pulled apart. This was a really cool moment because I felt like we discovered that we were on the same page and as this lineup, this band, we really can write together that way um, and that was really exciting for me because uh, again that's not that's not what I'm used to and that's not what I've done the most in my life. For this band it's usually been very private kind of one-on-one -on -one or uh, alone kind of thing. Um, mostly one-on-one -on -one with, with somebody. I'm not, I'm not writing those guitar parts or anything. Uh, anyway, so when we wrote Sick, it was like an experiment that we didn't know if, if it would work or not. And I remember we were all just really excited at the end of it because we love that song. But it was just, for me, I, I think of it like that was the moment we were like, yeah, we can do this. It's going to be fun. The End of the Dream is just about life and the end of the dream is death. You know, it's about the journey. And, and it's about, again, this recurring theme of not being afraid and living while you're alive because it doesn't last forever. Um, I think that's something that comes out a lot uh, in our music because it's something that I deeply feel. It's funny though, because I'm always telling it to myself. It's not like you learn something and then just go, yeah, totally. You have to make a, a constant effort to remind yourself of things that you believe in, you know? So I feel like, um, yeah, that theme about not being afraid and life doesn't last forever, um, that comes out a lot. And yeah, that song's about that. Oceans is, uh, I think a really cool song with uh, some taste of a new direction, but at the same time, it totally claims that Evanescence feeling. Um, it's got a big, cool, synthetic keyboard, you know, Moog plus, we used like five keyboards to make that sound. I really like that song because I feel like it's different sounding um, and I kind of have fallen in love with a lot of old analog gear the last couple of years. So, you know, it was fun to get to use those things. Um, yeah, I just think it's a big, epic, fun song out of out of all of our songs that was one of the four that we chose to do live when we just had a couple of shows recently and um, I think it went pretty good I liked it it's fun to play never go back uh, was actually inspired by the uh, earthquakes and tsunami in Japan um, while we were writing a bunch of music at pre-production uh, that was going on and I just remember you know we were just watching the news and looking at all these pictures on the internet and just like, I was just inspired and feeling a lot of feelings um, just of empathy and sympathy and just sort of like, wow, what would that be like, you know? Putting myself in the situation in my head, um, sort of accidentally, I guess, you know, when I do the thing where I go home and do my homework and work on the lyrics, um, I just sort of was writing without thinking about why and after a minute I was like, oh, okay, like, I'm thinking about Japan, <laughs> and I'm singing about Japan, like, why not just let this song be that story? So um, it's about losing everything, you know, um, and about life beyond your control. Swimming Home is definitely the truest picture um, of that sort of electronic, very different phase that I was going through for a little bit. Um, I love the song. I think that expre it expresses a little bit of a new emo emotion for me, for Evanescence, um, because it's sad, it's, it's goodbye. Um, it's sort of from the other side of the song before. It's like from the, from the person's perspective that's moving on into the next life. 
um, but it's it's peaceful. It's a it's it's an acceptance of that giant crazy thing that I, fascinates me that I wonder about and think about, and it's like life and death and what comes after, you know, and what does it all mean? Um, so it's that acceptance and and peaceful feeling, like the calm after the storm.